Yes. So we have already uh, gone with the introduction of the chapter that is chemical bonding. I'll be starting with the theories now. First, I'll go in detail of all the theories, then come back to the concepts, then we'll be doing types of bonds. Right. Now I'll be starting with the first type of theory that is valence bond theory or it is also called as orbital concept of bonding. So in short form, we call this theory as VBT. Right. So in this VBT theory, basically you have three subtopics. First would be the concept of hydrogen atom where we are going to speak about the overlapping of orbitals. Then I am going to also teach you about a orbital overlapping, orbital overlapping. I will also be teaching you about types of covalent bonds, types of covalent bonds that is sigma bond and pi bond, right. So first when I am speaking about uh, the hydrogen concept, let us start. So basically when I take an hydrogen, gaseous okay, state, I am going to supply a certain amount of energy to this, almost 435.8 kilojoules per mole of energy supplied to this. When I supply a certain amount of energy to this, immediately it will break up into hydrogen atom and hydrogen atom. Now I am labeling this hydrogen atom as HA, I will be labeling this as HB, right. So let us see. Now when this particular atom HA and HB is formed, how does this look? This is your HA atom, this is your HB atom, right. You have a nucleus in the center, here also you have a nucleus. And the electron of this, I am writing it here, Ea. And the electron of this, I am writing it here, just for clarification. Like it, you know, you would have clear clarity while studying. Now, we very well know there are new attractive forces formed between this, isn't it? Okay, so I will do that. Attractive forces. Fine. Now. <coughs> Here, these are already forces. You already have forces inside between the electron and the proton. Fine. Again, you have new attractive forces formed between these two. Yes. And these are already old forces of attraction between them. Right. So, attractive forces new. These are also attractive forces, but they are between your old because they are in, inside this. So, old old, new and new. When I go into the concept, Ea and Eb are having repulsive forces. Repulsive. HA and HB have again repulsive. Isn't it? Yes, because similar charges. So what type of forces are formed? We have attractive forces which have existed and you have repulsive forces which also existed. What are they? When I start with attractive forces, what did I say? Ea and Hb. Ea and Hb. Attractive forces. Correct. Now, next, what is the next attractive forces? Eb and Ha. Attractive. What are the repulsive forces? Ea and Eb. What are the second repulsive forces? HA and HB. Yes, this is what. Right? Now, because of this formation of atoms, once <coughs> and because of uh, the uh, supply of amount of energy, immediately when atoms, two different atoms are formed, there are two forces which started acting. Already they have attractive forces among them, but once they have broken, a new attractive force has developed between Ea of one, Hb of the second one, Eb of this and Hb or H of the second one. These, these are the new attractive forces and as I said, repulsive forces between similar charges have also developed. So, please note this. And once, now I am gradually going into the topic. <laughs> these bonds have formed fine but when I go into the detailing of this particular concept let us see <coughs> graphically when I represent this how do I label this graphical representation of this okay graphically I am representing the formation of hydrogen molecule now what happened initially now I'm going to make a graph which shows the increasing values of potential energy right so let us see initially what happened I had 
Okay, I'm taking this as the <coughs> bar. And here initially I had hydrogen atom HA here and I have one more hydrogen atom HB. Now, I have supplied certain amount of energy to this. Slowly, the hydrogen atom has come closer, isn't it? Right? Slowly, the hydrogen atom has come closer. And how does it look? So, instead of this, I am going to make this here and see. Initially, I had hydrogen atom both individually HA and HB. And from this, so plus and plus. I should not leave this, so plus and plus. From there, in, uh, gradually, that HA and HB, they, have, they started coming closer. They are trying, trying to form a bond, right? So, gradually, HA and HB, plus and plus. Now, after that, slowly, once they come and to a particular point, or some extent, right, they have still come closer, still almost, you know, they are trying to form a bond, HA and HB. Now, at this particular point, right, when here they have completely formed or they have completely shared that electron pair and they have formed a covalent bond. And this center and this center of the nucleus, now, this particular point is called R0. What is R0? R0 is basically nothing, like, you know, it is a bond length between H and HP. What is bond length? The internuclear distance between the centers of two nucleus. This R0 value is 74 picometer for hydrogen atom. Now what happens? Till now, attractive forces started acting. Attractive forces, attractive forces, attractive forces. But now when they have reached this point of R0, when a 70, 74 picometer bond length has reached, and now what happens on this particular at this particular point further if i am trying to get the particular atom closer and closer beyond r naught there is chance of bond cleavage right no beyond this r naught if i am trying to still make it closer the attract more than the attractive forces your repulsive forces starts taking charge you are attract more than attraction because repulsive they are trying to now they are very close they are trying to they will start breaking and your repulsive forces so till now attractive forces were dominating but here at this particular point you have repulsive forces so these repulsive forces will start dominating the part and now suddenly what happens you your repulsive forces just started and your concept of potential energy see how much is the potential energy yeah it is lowered so first initially it will be very high gradually lowered and after some time the potential energy graph just zooms why what is the reason for this so initially what what points i uh, said first let me number this as one let me number this as two let me number this as three right in one two and three stages which forces uh, dominated attractive forces attractive forces dominated after that when i came to number four at point four what happened you have complete covalent bond formation and a bond length of 74 picometer has formed within that then immediately your repulsive forces will come into picture your repulsive forces because the, more than that it can't get closer right so at this particular point first initially the potential energy forces right our potential energy will be lower and then it will just zoom up potential energy is lowered at this particular point fine this is how the potential energy or graphs are shown for hydrogen atom one after the other so this what is this trying to teach us basically the, this concept is trying to teach us how or what is the importance of bond length in any molecule right now after this <coughs> concept now i have to show you how are these orbitals overlapping right how is this orbital or what are the types of orbital overlapping apart from the basic hydrogen atom so write the heading types of orbital overlapping so orbital overlapping concept orbital overlapping concept this is what is the concept let me explain now so when I speak about orbital overlapping concept, try to understand. <coughs> atomic, we already studied atomic orbitals combined together to form molecular orbitals. That is what we have studied. Fine. So in orbital overlapping concept, in, uh, in your earlier chapters, you've already studied 
types of orbitals there is s orbital p orbital d and f p orbital is again divided into px p by pz isn't it yes fine <coughs> d is again divided into dxy dyz dzx dx square y square and dz square and f is all again divided into seven subjects right so now when i am speaking about these orbital concepts let me see how are they overlapping because i already said they have to overlap then finally atomic orbitals have to overlap then finally form the molecular orbitals so in this combination you have three first positive overlap overlapping orbitals negative overlapping orbitals and <coughs> no overlapping orbital so to make it easy uh, free zone or no overlapping zone i'll be showing that now so in positive overlapping orbitals now just see suppose if i am picking up a combination i have now i have s orbital p orbital p s p x y x y z z now in positive overlapping orbital suppose <laughs> let me pick up the basic thing now i am drawing like this right now i am just making one thing now i have observe carefully i am picking up one orbital like this so i label this as p z okay along the axis now i'm going to pick up one more orbital and just overlap this okay fine so this also is pz so i'm picking up pz pz atomic orbital overlapping now this is minus this is plus this is plus this is minus so what what are overlapping positive and positive overlapping so it is positive overlapping orbitals so both the signs positive positive now let us try with px and py so what happens now suppose i'm taking the axis i'm taking now it to pz let me come back pick up y now right so y as you know your z y and x isn't it x y z now i'm picking up this orbital so i have to overlap both so i'm getting them closer so this particular overlap one okay so this should be one more overlap so take your pen just try to overlap it and see right fine so how should uh, the uh, some what should what symbol should i write as i said these are positive and positive so this is positive positive negative negative so this is py py overlapping now let me write for px and px right so let, let us write now px now this is your px so px px overlapping and come closer px and px overlapping so just see i'm just drawn it here so this is your plus plus minus and minus px px overlapping positive positive right so when i now when i take further now i'm going to px px overlap now i'll do with this and this side did this also i did this also i did i have to overlap this and this combinations so let me pick up one more example with px and s orbital right so now i'm just uh, for an example so i'm going to pick up one more px right px and s right so s orbital is spherical and px is dumbbell shape so x x is this right so i have picked up x like this px right so minus plus observe carefully i am overlapping with an s orbital again this also should be plus plus and plus that is your this now ma'am what is the use of positive overlapping whenever there is positive overlapping observe carefully you have attractive forces which are acting on them right fine so i'll go with the negative overlapping i'll pick up the same i'll pick up one example right same right draw so when i'm again writing pz and pz now draw this lobe here right now you have to overlap it so take this and draw that dumbbell shape right when i speak about negative overlapping observe carefully <coughs> what did i say in positive overlapping positive positive now here your one positive one negative again this is positive this is negative this is negative this is positive so what happens two different loops never get confused ma'am when the positive negative attractive no 
there are two different node and anti node it has become a node and anti node so here your repulsive forces start acting fine so now if i draw with pz just observe draw with pz make one s orbital if i write this is positive this is negative this is negative positive so this is negative right so your repulsive forces start acting so when i speak about no overlapping or zero overlapping basically no overlapping or zero overlapping only happens when there is improper alignment if the alignment of the lobes is not proper see this is proper alignment this is proper alignment if the alignment of the lobes is not proper look here one lobe is like this and if one more lobe is coming in aligning like this can you find any overlap in between these two no so in because of the improper lobe or improper alignment so i'll write this here improper alignment of the lobes alignment alignments means align arrangement improper alignment of the lobes there is no overlapping form so if you have like this they will form attractive forces if you have the sign repulsive forces when you have the orbitals or when you have these orbitals in improper alignment there is no overlap formation